Welcome to the sixth part of the video and in this video we are going to learn about the restriction for the car movement. As you can see as of now the car can be on, go beyond the road border and beyond the screen as well. So we had to put some restriction for this car. And for that we have to add some logic for the coordinates. So without further ado let's start coding. In order to restrict the car movement, we already have a variable called x which is responsible for the movement of this car in terms of x coordinates. So let's just go and put some logic. So here the car image has been, the car image is getting appeared after this function gets called. So we have to put the logic after this line only. So we can say if x is greater than, now we can see here the, the root, the, uh, the road border has started with the coordinate 690 or 680 if I am not wrong. Let's just check on the code. Screen dot blit stripped is 680. So our code it should be the car, the moment the car touches this road line, the game should get close. So we have to determine like if the car is greater than 680 minus car width. Okay, so what will what is the car with here? For that you have to open the directory where you have your car one second. Okay, so I already given the GitHub link for downloading all these images and you can see here we have car one. Just click on the properties, go on the go on detail and you can find the dimension here. So the width is 56 and height is 125. So we have to border out width that is 56 okay so the car width is 56 so why I'm taking the car width as you can see here if we are giving only the road border length that is 680 wherever the coordinates are getting started this car can go beyond like this then only the game will stop but our motto is the moment the car touches this road line this white line this should get close so we are giving the car dimension so that the moment it touches the road line the game loop should get close so if x is greater than 680 minus car width or x is less than on the left side so the left side the road border is starting as 110 so we have to give if the x is less than 110 we have to add bumped equal to true so that the game loop will get stop will working stop so what we haven't added the car with variable let's just add here car with equal to sorry car with equal to 56 and save it and run the code okay let's just try on the right side first Yes, the game is getting closed. Let's just try on the left side as well. Okay, the moment the car touching the root line. Okay, so the game is getting closed. Perfect. Perfect from side. I hope you are able to achieve this till this much. If you have any issue regarding this, please drop the comment. Or please free to ask anything regarding any videos. And that's it. I just covered a small topic here but it was very important in the next video we'll talk about the crash me message like whenever the car touches the boundary of the road the some message or the, some the crash message should get popped up in the center of the screen that's it so we'll see you in the next time till then keep coding keep learning thank you